Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Milwaukee Brewers at County Stadium. On the mound for Detroit is Jack Morris, whose record is 9-4 with a 3.62 ERA. And pitching for the Brewers is Fred Holdsworth, whose record is 4-4 four four with a 3.82 ERA. And so we had a great game yesterday, at least until the ninth inning. Uh, the Tigers had a 5 nothing inning, uh, I'm sorry, 5 nothing lead. Uh, homers from Trammell and Parrish. And the game looked like it was uh, a sure thing. And then Trammell made an error to start off the ninth inning. And uh, it ended up with uh, Dave Sachs hitting a three-run home run. All those runs were unearned, of course. And... Uh, we brought in Roger Weaver to close the game out, which he did, and we got the win, which is the most important thing. So that puts us three and a half games back with 12 games to go. That's including today's game. So um, we still have a chance. I mean, it, we're not out of it by any means, uh, but we're going to need these teams in front of us to continue to lose and lose big. As after we finish today's game against the Brew Crew, uh, we are going to Minnesota for four games. And, of course, they are in first place, and we have an opportunity to knock them from first. Uh, but more importantly, we just need to win. So that is the plan for today as we have uh, Jack Morris on the mound, who's been pitching like the ace that we need him to be. We'll take a look at him more clearly in a few moments as you take a look there at his preliminary stats. All of the bullpen is available today. Our lineup versus Fred Holdsworth. Um, basically the same as it ever was. Uh, we do have Greg Brock back in the lineup uh, at first base after giving Barbaro Garbet his um, major league debut. He went two for two. We took him out for defensive purposes. And then Greg Brock went two for two and scored two runs. So um, that worked out really well. And uh, let's go ahead and officially do the Tigers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff and in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting second at second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting third at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting cleanup in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting fifth at DH is Jeff Leonard. Batting sixth in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting seventh and catching is Lance Parrish. Batting eighth at first base is Greg Brock. And batting ninth at third base is Tommy Brookins. Pitching for the Brew Crew is Fred Holdsworth. Fred Holdsworth was actually retired uh, in 1981. He did pitch uh, a couple of games for Milwaukee in 1980 which uh, is shown in the, um, the baseball card on the title page. Uh, that is actually a manufactured card, but he was in a Brewers uniform. And then after the 1980 season, he uh, quit baseball altogether. But he is still around. In fact, he had 22 starts in our uh, simulation last year, and he's making his 11th start as the fifth starter in the Brewers rotation this season with a pretty decent ERA, a 382 ERA. Um, 36 Ks and 66 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 276. A complete game shutout this year, too. And you can see he's wearing a, a Detroit Tigers uh, hat here because he was an original Detroit Tiger drafted by Detroit and uh, pitched for three seasons as a Detroit Tiger. Okay, there's the defensive alignment for the Brew Crew. Do they have anybody different in the lineup? No, they're going with the mainstays as they're trying to stay in the uh, race. Uh, just as uh, as well as we are. So, okay, Ricky Henderson leading off versus Fred Holdsworth. Let's have a offensive breakout game. Oh no! As Henderson strikes out to lead off the game, one down for Sweet Lou. Lou on an inside pitch pops it up, and the second baseman will make the play. That's Paul Molitor. Two down. Gonna leave it to Trammell. Hits a high fly ball to left field. 
And that is the third out. So one, two, three inning for Holdsworth. And we go to the bottom half of the first. Here is the Brewers lineup for today. Batting leadoff and DHing is Randy Reddy. Batting second at third base is Jim Gantner. Batting third at second base is Paul Molitor. Batting cleanup in center field is Chet Lemon. Batting fifth at first base is Jim Pachorik. Batting sixth in right field is Leon Roberts. Batting seventh and catching is Dave Sachs. Batting eighth in left field is Larry Heisel. Batting ninth at shortstop is Ed Romero. Here's Jack Morris. Oh, man, he's been doing so good. Look at his log. He's given up two runs in his last four starts. He had back-to-back -back shutouts. In fact, he went 21 innings pitched before he gave up a run against the Yankees. Um, and then he's won four in a row, including his last start versus Cleveland. And his only other appearance versus Milwaukee this year. He got a no decision. Oh, no. I'm sorry. He won. He had 11 strikeouts in that game. And that was a complete game as well. So Morris has done well uh, as of late, and he's done well against the Brew Crew. So let's see what Morris has for Randy Reddy. As you take a look at the defensive alignment for the Tigers, and Randy Reddy, who's one for three with a walk against Morris, leads off the bottom of the first. He skies it on the infield. And Trammell makes the play. One down. Jim Gantner up next. Two for 15. Takes a third strike on the corner as Morris paints that little edge right there. Two down. Here's Paul Molitor. Has, he's had some success against uh, Morris. Five for 18 with two home runs. As he flies out to Henderson in center field. So we're going to the top of the second. 1-2-3 inning there for Jack, and Kirk Gibson will lead off against Fred Holdsworth. Ground ball to first. There's one down. I took a look at the leaders yesterday, and Gibson is actually in the top 10 uh, in batting average as uh, Trammell's completely fallen off the page. And then Jeffrey Leonard gets a double down the right field line Kareem's off the wall, and uh, Leonard's got himself a double. So runner in scoring position for Gary Hancock. One for three against Holdsworth. Ground ball up the middle for a hit. Will Leonard score? He does. RBI single for Gary Hancock. The Tigers take an early one to nothing lead. Here's uh, Lance Parrish. He might be our hottest hitter right now. Um, he has six home runs in his last 20 games. In fact, uh, take four off that. So six in his last 16. Oops. There we go. All right. So runner on first for big wheel, Lance Parrish. And here he flips it out to right. That's not going to get it done. As the play is made by Leon Roberts. Two down for Greg Brock, who walks. Runners on first and second for Tom Brookins. We keep running him out there. He is not doing so hot at, uh, at lately at the plate. And as I say that, he gets a base hit to left. As my brain froze up, I had to reboot. Run scores from second. And it's 2 nothing Detroit. RBI single from Tommy Brookins. So two out rally going here as Ricky Henderson steps in. And he strikes out swinging. So we'll take those two runs. We'll head to the bottom of the second inning with cleanup hitter Chet Lemon leading off against Morris. One for 11 with only one walk. And Lemon pops it up on the infield, carrying to the outfield grass. Shallow left field as Trammell makes the play. One down. And the Pachorik strikes out for the second K for Jack today. It's going to bring up Leon Roberts. Roberts, ground ball to first, and Brock makes the play. We go to the top of the third. Here's Sweet Lou leading off against Holdsworth. Line drive. 
right at the shortstop. And Romero makes the play. Whitaker's batting average down to 250. And it seems like it's been a while since uh, he's hit a home run. And then Trammell steps up and drills it to center field. Oh, in that little corner there, it dies. 358 feet caught on the warning track by Chet Lemon. That's two down. And then Gibby grounds out to third. Gibson's in a power slump. How many? What's this? Ex, what is this? Is uh, I guess an OPS. Well, it's 786. So it's not like he's um, not getting extra base hits, I suppose. Okay, top. Uh, sorry, bottom of the third. Here's Dave Sachs. Ruined the shutout yesterday. And ruins the no hitter as he gets a base hit to left. First hit for the Brew Crew. Next up is Larry Heisel. Heisel's owned Morris. He's now 8 for 15 against him with this back to back singles. It's runners at first and second for Romero. Let's turn two here. Oh no, it's a shot into the gap all the way to the wall. Hancock tracks it down, and that's a two RBI double for the number nine hitter. It's all tied up at two. Nobody out still for Randy Reddy. Ran, uh, Reddy bloops it into right field, and the play is made by Hancock. Romero tags up and takes third base. Uh, we're going to pull the corners in. We'll go home if it's hit to one of them. Hopefully. That's uh, a strikeout of uh, Gantner. Three Ks for Morris. Everybody will be, be at uh, normal depth in the field. Oh, Morris walks Molitor to get to Lemon. Maybe a good move. One for 12 is Chester. Ground ball to third. Play is made by Brookins. Everybody was holding their breath. The Brewers get two runs, though, on an RBI double, two RBI double by Eddie Romero. And we go to the top of the fourth. All tied to two. Here's Jeffrey Leonard. He had a double of his own. Here he hits a fly ball into left center field where it quickly dies. Heisel makes the catch. One down. Gary Hancock. Long fly ball to center for the second out. It's going to leave it up to Parrish. There we go. Number seven in his last, what, 17 games if you include this one. So Parrish is making a... a Stretch run for the MVP of the team at this point. Good job by him. Tigers take the lead 3-2. to two. Brock walks for his second uh, of the game. So Brock is on first. Here's Tommy Brookins. Brookins had a hit earlier, and here he strikes out swinging. So we go to the bottom of the fourth. Tigers get back on top. The 12th home run by Parrish. Jim Pachorek leading off the bottom of the fourth. He strikes out looking on a 95-mile-an-hour fastball that painted the corner. One down. Here's Leon Roberts. Oh, Roberts cranks it into the gap. He's got himself a double. That is Roberts. Third double only as a Brewer, but 14th overall if you include his time with the Phillies. Runner on for uh, second with one out. Here is uh, Dave Sachs. Sachs strikes out. Five Ks for Morris. All right, we've got to get Larry Heisel here. Heisel is crushing him. And a line drive to right. Plays made by Gary Hancock. And we get out of that little bit of a jam. We head to the top of the fifth. Here is Ricky Henderson. Over two with two strikeouts today. Yeah, he gets a hold of it this time. And lines out to right. Roberts makes the catch. One down. Sweet Lou popping it up. Top of the lineup. Not getting it done today. So two down for Trammell. Trammell now one for six against Holdsclaw. And he pops it up. So a much needed one, two, three inning for Holdsworth. And we're going to the bottom of the fifth with Eddie Romero. Leading off, he had that two RBI double. 
Here he skies it on the infield. Trammell calls for it. There's one down. Back to the top of the lineup with Randy Reddy. Reddy hits a laser to right field for a base hit. Five singles now. Five hits, I should say, for the Brewers. They do have a double in there. So Reddy's on first for Jim Gantner. Two for 17. Oh, boy. That's a base hit to right. Reddy must have been a hit and run because Reddy takes third. That ball wasn't very deep. Only 73 feet. So really just on the, onto the outfield grass. So it's first and third now for Molitor. We got some speed on the base pass. Um, we are going to pull the infield in. We cannot afford to give up a run. Oh, he saws off Molitor, who skies it into short left center field. Trammell tracks it down. That's the second out. We've got to get Lemon here. Lemon's still only one for 13. Base hit up the middle. And the game is tied. Gantner stops the second base. So an RBI single from Lemon. He gets off the schneid against uh, Jack. And then Jack walks Pechorek. This is not a good game for Jack. He's uh, seven hits and two walks now here in the fifth. Leon Roberts, who's uh, only batting 199 versus Radies, gets a base hit to left. That's going to do it for Jack. He does not have it today. That sucks. We really needed a good one from him, but he's been on point pretty much uh, these last five starts. So we're going to take out uh, Morris. We're going to bring in Dave Patterson to face uh, Dave Sachs. And I found a, a, a card to, um, to uh, use for Dave Patterson. As it turns out, it is his rookie card from 1980. And look who's on it. Mickey Hatcher and Joe Beckwith. These are all Detroit Tigers as of right now. Uh, so I thought that was pretty uh, interesting as these two uh, clowns are in AAA after um, their failings at the major league level. Patterson throws it right down the pipe and Sachs hits it back to the pitcher for the third out. So the damage is done. As the Brew Crew puts three on the board, it is five to three. And we go to the top of the six. Let's take a look at the um, in-game stats here. There we go. All right, it's tough to say player of the game so far. Uh, maybe it's Parrish with the home run. The first four batters have been terrible. Today. Let's see if Gibby can get on the right track. Nope, he pops it up. Holdsworth at 78 pitches. Next up is Jeff Leonard. A weak ground ball right back to Holdsworth. There's the second out. And then Hancock comes up and gets his second hit of the day. Do we want to go for two? We're going to say no. So we have Hancock at first, and uh, Parrish, who's terrorizing pitchers, steps in. And he strikes out, swinging on an inside pitch. And we go to the bottom of the six. So Larry Heisel, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to keep Patterson in there. And Heisel will be the first to face him this inning. Heisel hits a lazy fly ball to left, one down. Ed Romero is up next. He's hitting a fly ball to short. Two down. That's going to leave it up to Randy Reddy to get something going for the Brew Crew. Nothing as he grounds to short. So we're going to the seventh. We have Greg Brock up, who's walked both appearances. And a base hit to right. So he's been on base five straight plate appearances now with three hits and two walks. Okay, uh, well, this is where I would normally... I would normally sacrifice bunt, but we need two runs. Top of the lineup's not hitting, so maybe we just try to... Let's try to... Yeah, we're going to lay down a sacrifice bunt. We'll try to get one run back. We're playing small ball right now. 
As Brooklyn strikes out on a 71 mile an hour change, I, I mean, I could have laid down the butt with a 71 mile an hour change up. So that sucks. Um, but the good news is Holdsworth is tired. We're going to let Ricky swing away. And he pops it straight up at home plate. And uh, that's going to do it for Holdsworth. They're going to bring in Frank DePino with two down. DePino's a lefty. He's struggling this season. 21st appearance, two and two on the year with a 584 ERA. A 290 opponent's batting average. No saves. He's blown one. And he is listed as tired up here. He's one day until rested. So I don't think it'll take much for him to... Um, Want to take a nap. A dirt nap! Damn it. So he strikes out Whitaker. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Patterson has done his job. We've got a lefty coming up. We're going to bring in Capizello. Give him an opportunity here. Cappy, 34th game. He's 4 and 2 with that 473 ERA, 24 Ks. Opponents are betting 213 against him. He's got seven saves. He had one in the last series against Clevetown. And he has to face Jim Gantner, who's 0 for 1 against him. Ground ball to first. Gets past Brock for a base hit. Oh, a double, in fact, as Gantner stretches it. Okay, well, this doesn't seem to be our game. We're going to bring in a Tom Filer. As uh, he's making his 11th appearance, all in relief for Detroit. He had two starts for the Cubbies earlier this season. Maybe one of the ugliest cards I've ever seen. As a, He's either got a dip in his mouth or he's pretending to be a bullfrog. I don't know. Um, his ERA is a 150 for Detroit. 6Ks in 12 innings. Opponent's batting average is 292. He does have a save. Actually, a very important save uh, from uh, last week. When he came in and uh, as a, he was a starter at the time. Molitor gets a base hit. For some reason, Gantner was running on that. It makes no sense. Got to pull the infield in, folks. Cannot give up another run. Lemon had the big blow earlier as he hits a ground ball back to Filer. Filer goes home. And uh, we get the out there at the plate. So one down. Let's turn two here against Pachorik. Pachorik hits a fly ball onto the outfield grass. That's two down. It's going to leave it up to Leon Roberts. Two for three, two RBIs today of his own. That's a base hit to center. Molitor scores, and it's six to three. That run goes to Cappy. And then Sachs pops it up. Brew Crew gets another run on the board. It's 6-3, to three, and the Tigers are watching their season slip away as Trammell can't even connect on a left-hander now. All right, um, well, Gibby's 0 for 3. He's batting 179 versus um, left-handers. We're going to bring in Bobby Ramos here. Bobby Ramos batting 524 against uh, lefties and that's like no joke he crushes them boom shoots it to right oh it's going to be caught for the second out so two down for Jeff Leonard betting 314 versus lefties and he grounds out as well so we go to the bottom of the eighth we need to fix our defense here. We're going to move Gary Hancock to... Wait, actually, I think Wilson can play. Yeah. We'll move Wilson to um, left field. There we go. So, a little bit better defensively. We're going to let uh, we're going to let Filer pitch another inning here. This might be the, the ball game. Ground ball by Heisel to first. There's one down. Eddie Romero. Ground ball to Whitaker. 
And then Randy ready, top of lineup again. Wow, that was a hell of a curve there. As he strikes out, Randy ready. We go to the top of the ninth. We've got uh, Hancock, Parrish, and Brock. Hancock is hitting lefties better. Um, let's bring in the rookie. Here's Barbaro Garbet. Two for two yesterday in his Major League debut. Never faced a lefty in the majors. And he hits a ground ball to short. There's one out. Here's Lance Parrish, who probably is player of the game. I mean, Brock has been on base every time. I guess we'll see what happens here. Yeah, that's a blooper into right center field. Base. Oh, no! It's snagged by the center fielder, Chet Lemon. And uh, we're going to let Brock swing away here. I mean, basically, the only thing on the line is a uh, player of the game. He's one for one with two walks. At this point, I think he owns it. And he strikes out. And that's the ball game. Tigers lose 6-3. to three. That is a tough one. Morris could not get the job done. No one to blame but uh, Jack in that game. As uh, they're offering, Expos are offering us Gary Carter and his hefty salary. I would love that deal. He's only 27 years old, a kid, before Ken Griffey Jr. was called the kid. Uh, not really getting every day uh, at bats for the Expos. I wonder who their catcher is. Um, I mean, I would love to have Gary Carter, to be honest, but I mean, we, we forgot that covered already. We signed up Paris to a long-term deal. Uh, Jim Weaver, I wouldn't, I don't even really know who that is. So, but the answer is no. Let's take a look at the standings. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, we lost a half game. Four games back with, uh, well, I guess we have 12 to go right now, don't we? I, my bad. I thought we had uh, 12 to go when we started. So 12 to go, four games back. It's going to take a miracle. Uh, but stranger things have happened, I suppose. We do lead the American League with 98 home runs, which is uh, pretty impar uh, impressive. We've had, we had, you know, one on average every game. So we'll take it. Uh, Toronto now eliminated and Seattle now eliminated from contention. Let's take a look at the National League. And uh, yeah, I mean, St. Louis, Houston have it sewn up all, all but really as um, no new teams have been eliminated. Let's take a look at the transactions. This seemed like the day to retire as Wayne Nordhagen, Bill Stein's money, and Jerry Terrell have all retired. So uh, maybe they're going to start a business together. Who knows? And let's go back, take a look at the box score. What a sh crappy. Uh, we lose six to three. Player of the game. We're going to give it to Greg Brock. I mean, at least he got on base three times. I know Parrish had a home run. Uh, I mean, Gary Hancock uh, did. Um, he did get two hits. You know what? We're going to give it to Gary Hancock. First time in a long time for Gary Hancock getting player of the game. He had two hits. He showed up with his bats. Parrish had a homer. Jeffrey Leonard got his 10th overall double. Morris, what happened? He was on cruise control. And he had that one big inning. He gave up five runs. He takes a loss. He's 9-5. and five. Capizello gave up a base hit. And then the run scored uh, thanks to Tom Filer. Frank DePino gets his first save on the season as Fred Holdsworth, the number five starter for the Brewers, gets the win. He's five and four on the season. So uh, I think the Baker Break series starts tomorrow. It is against the Minnesota Twins at uh, the Metrodome. And so until uh, tomorrow, everyone have a great night.